Well, this video is uh, to show you how to replace the valve uh, without cutting the pipe. Uh, I know there's a lot of people that are not comfortable that they're not comfortable about cutting pipes. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do it without cutting the pipe. All right, so also uh, I bought a new valve. You gotta make sure you get the same model. You know, there's different models. Uh, some of them are, are like a little longer uh, and they won't pretty much fit. So make sure you get the same or the same orbit model and you're good to go. So we're gonna start with, like I said, removing the screws. I have a drill so it will make things faster. So like I said, you can also use a Phillips screwdriver. All this part come off. So you gotta remove all this. You gotta remove spring and the gasket. You gotta make sure you the new gasket and the new spring go the same way. I'm also gonna remove this part. this also all this part we're not gonna need it we're not gonna put this back I'm gonna install the new one from the new valve all right so now what we need to do is we need to remove all the screws for this and also this part I saw this on the cipher cover last. All right, so I'm gonna do this size first. I'm gonna remove all the screws and I'm gonna install it the same way. Once we have all the screws uh, removed, uh, then we're gonna be able to remove the top part of the valve. Uh, we'll just move it side to side and it will come off. There you go. Uh, all right, so what we're gonna do now is, if you can see this pointy part, it will go to that hole. That's where the solenoid is going. All right, so I'm not gonna touch the, the gaskets because I'm gonna put it just uh, the way it is uh, without removing the gaskets. So I, all I have to do is just put it back and align it with the holes. So what we're gonna do is just put it like that. The spring is already inside. All right, so we're gonna install it like this. 
like I said, uh, the little pointy part goes to the hole. So we need to make sure everything is aligned. The solenoid and all the holes uh, has to be even and aligned. Now we can put all the screws back. So make sure all the screws are tight. the cipher part the same way all right so to install this cover uh, you don't need any uh, special tool this part goes hand tight all right so that pretty much will do it all it has to do is just turn the water back on slowly and make sure there's no leak around here and that should solve the problem that pretty much uh, you pretty much have a new valve right there and like I said just turn the water back on slowly and that should do it all right so that's all for this video if you guys like it please give me a thumbs up and I'll see you at the next video